Hi everyone, it's Danny. So today we're going to be answering a question sent by Lisa. And uh, she is asking if I can make a video on clay bowls as a medium for phalaenopsis records or clay pellets. And I told her that I don't have too much experience with them, but I will try to talk a little bit about them, uh, about the impressions I got while using them, because I did try them out, kind of. So, I will start with the beginning. At some point I had a sick Miltoniopsis and I thought a clay palettes will stay more moist and they would do good for her and I didn't really make a video on it. I think in a balcony tour you are able to see it. Possibly anyway, it doesn't matter. The thing is, uh, the experiment ulti ultimately uh, failed miserably and the plant died. So, I, uh, I thought maybe the plant was too sick or... Um, it just didn't do so good as a variety, as a species in hydrogen clay pellets. Then there was this Stuartiana phalaenopsis, which you can see here. Now, I didn't really show you, but you did see this orchid in a lot of my videos, being very droopy and very sad looking. She was super sick and dehydrated and uh, lost a lot of roots. But anyway, I tried placing her in hydrogen clay pellets this summer. I've kept it there for about a month and I absolutely hated it. Um, because, I don't know, for some reason I felt it didn't like it. I also had to water it, I think, every day because the pellets actually dry up super, super fast if there isn't a reservoir of some sort. I used to keep this in a, in a normal pot, but using hydrogen clay pellets. So, after about one month, I actually removed it from that medium and placed it in the bark because I knew um, bark worked well for me. And as you can see, she's doing just well also has some flower spikes. Oopsie, if I don't damage anything I will show you. She also has some flower spikes. I have to, sh oops, have to shape one of them. Okay, so it failed for me with Phalaenopsis as well. Now I decided to just give it one more try and try to do it properly, like proper semi-hydroponics. -hydro so I've placed this on cedium, which is again sick, but I place it in a, in a cup that has a reservoir of water. This is actually the proper use of hydrogen clay pellets. They need to have a, hydro, um, a reservoir so they can wick up the water and uh, direct it to the top. And this is still in the process. I'm not sure what to say. So far, no change, but it does take time. So, okay, these are my experiences. As you probably noticed, hydrogen doesn't really work for me. I don't particularly like it. I don't know how to explain this. I can... I think I can sense when the orchid likes something or it doesn't. I'm really, really going on intuition on everything I do with um, orchids. And uh, yeah, but there are some people who actually have success with hydrogen clay palettes. And in the description, I'll give you a link to Sam here on YouTube, Samantha. She's actually tried or is using hydrogen clay palettes successfully with her orchids. There is also Bit Bite the Orchid Bug here on YouTube, which did an experiment with hydrogen and didn't like the results. So I'll link you to her video as well so you can see her experience. So based on everything I've seen, I think this medium has to do uh, with your environment. It can work for you if you have a specific type of environment, but I'm not even sure in what environment that is, or it might not work. It's especially in my environment, in the summer, which can be very dry and very warm, um, using it as a sole medium without any reservoirs does not work for me at all. Absolutely not. I think it's, I think it's worse than sphagnum. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I really don't want to offend any opinion, but it doesn't work for me. It doesn't mean it doesn't. It will not work for you. So based on what I told you, based on the videos that I shared in the description and which I encourage you to watch and see, they're practically the same technique, but what's different is the environment. It can be totally different from my environment. Also, the orchid is different. Some orchids are sick, some are healthy, but again, it depends on the orchid. And uh, yeah, draw your own conclusions. If you do intend to try out hydrogen clay palettes, the best advice I can give you is you try it out with one orchid, uh, see how it works. If it starts to work okay for you, then maybe move other orchids to this medium as well. There will be some time for them to adjust to the new medium. They always do that when you switch uh, the type of medium. But if you think or if you see it kind of works or it works in your environment, okay, go for it. 
but there is a very high possibility that it will not work and me and bit by the orchid bug ha oh, sorry <laughs> bit by the orchid bug um don't really like hydrogen but that's just me again might work for you doesn't mean it should work for everybody or it doesn't mean it um it will not work for everybody anyway so test it out thank you for the question sorry i made this video so long and uh yeah best of luck with hydrogen i can't seem to make it work <laughs> i don't know what this fella will do so if you have any other questions pop them in a comment below and i'll try to give you an answer or make a video for you guys so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos bye